Hey everybody, um, it is time yet again to talk about how freaking amazing Harry Winnington is. Um, this book, um, Fires That Destroy, I thought for sure that I had already done a video on this book because I've been talking about it so much in like group chats and um, around here that I just figured I had done a video on it <clears throat> and it turns out I hadn't so um this book is um really good and really strange oh wait did I talk about this book already because there's no likable characters in it maybe I did I just don't remember anyway so um it's about a woman who is very plain Jane, and um, she ends up getting a job where she's the live-in private secretary for the super rich blind dude, and um, he is like coming on to her all the time, and she thinks he's only coming on to her because he's blind. And if he had his sight, he probably wouldn't be um, that keen to hit on her. And um, so she just hates everybody. Like, she spends pages talking about just um, how she can't stand certain people. Pretty much all people. Well, anyway, um, it turns out that... Um, there's a point where she finds out that this dude that she's living with is actually keeping a bunch of money and cash inside the house. <clears throat> and it's a pretty decent sum. So um, she comes up with a way to get rid of him and um, get the money. And the book opens with um, her standing at the top of the stairs, looking down at his dead body, um, at the bottom of the stairs, trying to figure out what to do next kind of thing. And um, a cop, the detective, totally doesn't believe her. But every answer she gives is what she should be saying. So their back and forth is really clever because he's like, oh, yeah, you got another point. Huh. All right. And he keeps trying to pin this on her, and he can't seem to make it stick. And um, it's frustrating for him. It's frustrating for her because she's freaked out that this guy keeps asking her all these questions. So, um, that's like the first half of the book. The second half of the book, um, she, because she's flaunting all this cash now, she, um, meets this guy and, um, he falls in love with her. She falls in love with him. And, um, they get out of town because it's a little, uh, um, it's, it's getting a little too close for comfort everywhere, uh, because of everything that's happened. And then it turns into, um, her relationship deteriorating with them. And, um, it's one of those books that you read that you remember very vividly because I've read quite a few books um, since I read this and I remember liking a lot of those books I've read but I wouldn't be able to tell you like what certain books are about like off the top of my head I'd have to like think about it but this book, the the imagery, the pacing, everything is very vivid, and it um, sticks with you. And it's um, 
interesting to have a book where the lead is a female. Although I don't, like I wish she was more likable, but at the same time, if she was more likable, then the book wouldn't be how it is. Like, everything hangs on the fact that she is so jaded. So you really need that to make the book work. But um, I have a feeling um, some of our younger readers would read that book and go, oh, so just because she's a murderer and a thief, she has to be fucking unlikable. Ah. Um, and all that crap. But, um, yeah, it just, it works. And um, the way it ends is not what I saw coming. I thought for sure that the money would go up in flames because the book's called Fires That Destroy. So I kept waiting for the money to burn, and it never did. So there's a spoiler for you. Um, and then uh, the I, I Apps Up is very adequate for the characters involved. Um, and you're just like, God damn, these people are crazy. So, um, this is a book that I've had for probably since I lived in North Hollywood. So, I mean, we're talking years and for some reason I just never picked it up. And, um, like, I'm really bummed out that I went all this time reading so many books that weren't very good when I had that book the whole time. So anyway, um, if this book has been on your um, should I or shouldn't I list, go ahead and give it a read. Uh, it's very good. So um, let me know down below what you thought of it. Um, or what... You know what? If you are a fan of Harry Winnington... Um, please down below leave a list of some of your favorite books by him because um, I feel like <clears throat> modern times with Harry Winnington, we really only have what Black Lizard or um, 280 Steps put out and that is such a small fraction or prologue books because a lot of those books, all of them put out. So it's like the dude wrote anywhere from 150 to 250 books and we're kind of just reading the same 10 Harry Winnington books over and over again. So um, if there's any that you're like, oh, you got to find this one, uh, please let me know. Um, I would love to hunt for those.